Yo, what's going on, boys? Shannon from Crowd Sound. Welcome to today's video. In this video, we have a super cool growl bass, and this is what it sounds like. So, really, really cool bass, and this bass actually comes straight from my brand new pack called Annihilated Bass for Serum Volume 1, and it's actually being released today. Um, yeah, it's 90 Serum presets and 90 waveforms, and I swear to you guys, this is the best pack on the market. Um, if you don't believe me, I'm going to play a little piece of the demo. But yeah, that's all I'm going to play for the demo. There's a whole nother three minutes of that. So if you guys want to check out the full demo, click the link at the top of the description and it's going to take you to the product page. I swear to you guys, this is a revolutionary pack. And if you guys get it within this week, since it is Thanksgiving, I want to give back to you. So you're also going to get an extra serum pack as well as a bunch of free wavetables that you're going to be able to download and access along for free just with the simple purchase of this pack. I swear to you guys, this is completely worth it. But without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. Um, yeah, this preset was actually made by one of our sound designers, Huey, and he's absolutely killing it. So make sure you guys check him out. You know, shout out to Huey. Uh, his SoundCloud is soundcloud.com slash HueyX. And you know, he's really a talented sound designer. That's why it's on the team. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. Now this bass is actually very, very simple to make. So uh, yeah, stick with me and we'll get through it within five minutes, I swear to you. Okay, so oscillator A, we are going to turn to our digital and select, where are you, Evil Sweep. So, Evil. Right off the bat, we have a really, really screechy kind of sound. So we're gonna move the waveform, or the wavetable position. Why do I keep saying waveform instead of wavetable? That is weird. You know, wavetables are, you know, sets of waveforms, but, you know, I don't know what's going on in my head right now. Anyways, wavetable position is going to go to about, what is that, uh, it's the 75th frame here. So um, yeah, it's going to go at about 30, 35%. And yeah, we're going to turn this low frequency oscillator number one on there and make it go modulating up to reach the 100% tile. Okay, so we're just, what? I cannot speak today. <laughs> we're really just moving this knob up all the way from right about there. So anyways, yeah, for our warp selection, we're going to turn on the ASY M, positive and negative. So as we move the knob, you're gonna to start to hear a very sim similar pattern throughout just kind of moving around. But anyways, uh, yeah, when we have it all the way to the left, it's a positive and all the way to the right, it's a negative. Uh, basically, we're just pushing it. When it's on the left, we're pushing the waveform to the left and then we're stretching it to the right um, you know, the same thing, but except inverted to the right, uh, just by moving that. And then at 50%, it's halfway through. Um, so basically just a, how it normally is. Anyway, so we're going to turn this to about 58%, and we're going to turn the LFO number one on there as well, and we're going to drop it back to not quite hit the 50% mark, but, you know, a little bit more, a little bit greater than it, so... Really what we're just doing here is we're smoothing it out a little. So yeah, you guys kind of get the idea of what that's actually doing. Um, into the filter, we're going to turn on our multis and we're gonna go ahead and choose a high peak filter. So this is a combination of a high pass and a peak filter. So we're going to turn on our cutoff to about, what is that, 90 Hertz. And then we're also gonna stick our LFO one onto here. And we're gonna jump this up to about, it actually doesn't matter, it's completely personal preference, what you guys are trying to achieve in your own base, so. Somewhere around there. And then the resonance, uh, we're gonna also jump up quite a bit. That way we really have a really strong presence on the, presence on the filter. And um, we actually want this to be a little bit more resonant as we move closer to the top of the ramp. I'm actually gonna fix this to go right here. So as we're getting closer to the top, we want there to be a lot more, uh, greater resonant um, kind of presence on the sound. So the filter really stands out more as we get towards the top. And the resonance completely nails it. 
just how I want for it. So um, that's really it for the oscillator panel into the effects panel. We're going to turn on our hyper. And we're going to drop this mix to about 5%. And into the dimension, we're going to turn that down to about 5%. And the mix up to about 25%. Also, guys, we could turn this up to, you know, whatever you really want. This, I'm just trying to keep it nice and simple. It's all personal preference. So into the compressor, we're going to turn on a multiband, and we're going to turn up that gain a little bit. Oh, my gosh. And that's all it took to make this really, really cool bass. Um, the filter is really what's driving um, this filter to, or this sound, I cannot, I keep mixing up my words today, guys. I really am sorry. But yeah, the filter is really what's driving this sound to kind of achieve that vocally kind of bass. So that's, I hope you guys took something away and learned from this tutorial. Make sure you guys check out this pack. I swear to you, this is no BS. This is the real deal. And it's seriously the best pack on the market. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm Shane from Rockabout Sound, and I am checking out, guys. See you guys in the next one.